Hey, babeses. So yeah, last night I cleaned all my makeup brushes and I was like, oh my god, maybe I should make a video about it. Because basically I was talking to like lots of girls and like, you know when you get those sets of brushes from MAC and you don't know what any of them are for and you're like, oh well this is a big one and this is a little one. So like, uh, or like that's what I used to be like. And then I went to makeup school and you get like 20 brushes and you're like, oh my god, wow. And now I know what they're all for. So I'm going to go through all of my brushes and tell you what they're for. Um, so yeah, I start off, off with the face one, or body one, this one, ah! this is my favourite brush, because yeah, look, it's like so big and fluffy, it should look, it's like, oh my god, it's like the size of my face, um, anyway, what this one is for, is it's mainly for body contouring, body contouring, so like, say if you want to make your legs look thinner, then you do white kind of down your thigh, and then brown like on the sides of it, so then it looks more contoured, or like if you're doing boob contouring, then like, yeah, white, or, what I do as well, is if you get set finishing powder, and then you literally just put it there, and there, and then like blend it out, yeah, and then it looks really good, um, okay, so that's that one, that's my favourite, then, um, powder brush, this is good for, yeah, if you've got powder, bronzer, like, general, like, kind of more finishing powder rather than, like, contoury face stuff, so, like, if you just want to, like, set it all over, and, like, yeah, as you can see, it's quite big, rounded, like, yeah, quite fun, and then also, this one is the other one I have, and, yeah, they're pretty much the exact same, so, like, yeah, if you have a big brush like this, which is about this shape, that's for, like, yeah, face, um, then, this brush, oh my god, this is magical, like, I've seen a lot of girls that use it, and it's really good, because when you're doing your foundation, whether it's powder, or cream base, or liquid, what it does is, because it's got, yeah, these white things at the end, you, like, go like this, like, round circular motions, and it buffs the skin in, so it makes all the foundation even, so it looks like you're all smooth and flawless, like, basically, like, you're not wearing makeup, so, yeah, what you want to do is round circular motions, like, all over, um, then you've got this one, which I always think looks a bit like kind of a kind of paintbrush that you'd use for like wallpaper. But yeah, pretty much this is a foundation brush. So you'll get your liquid foundation. First, you might want to try and mix it on your hand first. Put it there, go like that, and literally just paint your face. So yeah, you want to do this first and then do this one. Oh yeah, and then once you've done that, you want to put powder on top with this one. So like combining them all. But yeah, if I was going to say any of these to get, probably this one because it's got the buffingness. Um, then, once you've done, like, yeah, your foundation, your face, you're going to want to do, like, bronzer, contouring, blusher, like, highlighter, and so, you're going to want to have a brush, which is, like, oh, like this, so, yeah, can you see, it's kind of a round tapered edge, it's, like, yeah, it's a bit smaller than this one, oh, um, and, yeah, really good for just, like, yeah, doing your cheekbones, like, underneath, doing the highlighter on top, and, like, yeah, when you're doing it as well, round circular motions, so, like, yeah, this is the exact same, but just, like, I think, yeah, this one's a little bit bigger, doesn't really matter that much about the size, like, yeah, it's just about the shape. So yeah, that's your face brushes, and then after that you'll look flawless, perfect, totally bedgasmic. Um, okay, so yeah, you've done your face now. Um, and then, okay, so this brush, this is a large eye blender brush, compared with this one, which is, yeah, a small one. And so technically this is for your eyes, but this is the brush that I use when I'm, like, contouring my nose, because it's, like, quite small, you can, like, blend it all in and, yeah, just do the sides. Um, so yeah, this one, not necessary, because, yeah, if you do want to do your nose, like I said, you can just take one of these ones, Smush it that way. Like, yeah, a bit cheaper than buying a new brush. Okay, so yeah, you've done your face, you've done your nose. Oh my god, you're looking amazing. Okay, so now for the eyes. When you start off, um, this is a brush a lot of girls have. So, like, can you see that shape? Like, it's kind of flat, but like rounded at the end. So, like, yeah, this is the small one I have. This is the big one. Doesn't really matter if it's small or big. Like, I've seen these in benefit packs as well. And they're really, really good for putting your base on. So, you're going to want to put a light colour. But then, obviously, when you're doing your eyeshadow, you normally do your colour and then you do like shading in the corner. But the problem is, because this is most brush that most girls have, do you have it? Yeah, when you're doing the outer corner or the up bit, the highlight, it looks all blocky and it looks all bad. Like, yeah, because I've, I've, I've seen it on a couple of girls, and oh my god. But anyway, basically, what you want is you want this brush. This is my best friend. Literally, you're doing natural, you're doing smoky, whatever you're doing, this is literally the most amazing thing in the world. Um, so what you do is you'll have, yeah, you'll have done your base using this one, which is like the flat one. Um, and then you get this, and you literally just kind of, yeah, if you're doing the dark colour, you just work your way from the outer corners, work it inwards. Um, and then do a little bit down there, but basically it just makes it all smooth um, And then what you want to do is clean your brush always like on tissue on the back of your hand Whatever and then apply your highlighter up here And then it'll just mean it goes highlight dark and base like really natural instead of being like block 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 So it gives like a really 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 good eye look um, So yeah, basically if I was gonna say to anyone to buy any brush this one small eye blender literally your life will never be the same It is amazing um, 
So yeah, then there are these other two brushes. These are called socket brushes. So this is small eye socket and large eye socket. If I'm going to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what they're for because they're a bit like, I use them like, yeah, for sockets like here. But the thing is they don't blend that well. So when I use it, I'll use it, yeah, right here. If I need like a highlight, like if I fucked it all up, it's too dark and I need like a strong color. Or if when I'm contouring my lips, like in my other video, I'll just put like a bit of light here and a bit of dark there. But yeah, it's kind of like if you want to put color on, but not have it too blended, but not flat, but like, yeah, basically, yeah, these brushes aren't necessary, but like, they do have purposes. Um, okay, cool. Then there's this one, which is eyeliner brush. And can you see it's like kind of tapered, but thin, but like basically this is like, before I did makeup school, I kind of recognized this brush and knew what it was for. So like, yeah, when you're doing eyeliner, like, yeah, pull your eyes straight and just do a bit of eyeshadow there. Or really good, yeah, if you're doing like underneath or, or yeah, you can actually use this one for your eyebrows as well. And yeah, basically it's just good for doing a line. And then if you've done the line, you want to smudge it up a bit, you can use it for that too. But yeah, that's basically what it's for. Um, then you have this brush, um, which is, yeah, just for like, you know, like liquid eyeliner when you have those little pots. Um, and yeah, this one's really useful as well because obviously you can get liners where they've got the little thing, but this is pretty much the same. Also, this is good for if you're doing like nail art because then you do your nail varnish and then you put this in the black, do like some hearts, patterns, whatever you're doing, um, and then put top coat on top and then perfect. Um, and then this brush, oh my god, this is my other favourite, kind of like this one, okay, this is a huge version, this is like the mini version, and would you believe, when I was in makeup school, we used this one for mascara, and I was like, look at it, mascara, really? Um, but yeah, when you use it for mascara, you're meant to kind of go down and like that, and like, well, I don't know, I personally use it for my eyebrows, because I find it more useful than this. Because this one, it's a bit like blunt, whilst this one is softer, so if I fuck up and make a mistake, it's kind of okay. So you just kind of go like that, and then always make sure you turn the angle to go like that. Um, and then last but not least, a lip brush. Um, so yeah, this one's really good. Oh shit, not last but not least, I forgot one. Okay, back up, back up, back up. Okay, this one, very, very similar to the lip brush, actually, if you'll see. It's quite soft fibres, quite little. This one's for under-eye concealer. When you're doing under-eye, start off there, add your orange, uh, and work your way along. Um, and then this one is lip brush. Um, and yeah, literally just filling your lips. And when you're doing your lips, it's easiest to start in the middle and kind of work your way down. Because if you start there, or start at one end, then you can end up going, Gee, oh shit, do you know what I mean? Um, so it's better to start in the middle and just work your way out and then it ends up smoother and nicer and yeah. Um, and then also you can have, you know those little brushes you have where it's kind of it, like brush on one side and a comb on the other? Those are, for, well I've lost mine, but yeah those are for your eyebrows so basically that you can kind of groom them before you make them up. Um, and I think hopefully you'll know the ones I mean, yeah they're quite little and yeah comb, brush. And basically yeah those are all my makeup brushes. And yeah if I was going to say my the necessary ones, okay I'd say this one foundation and powdering. Well found, yeah for buffing. This one for doing like cheekbone contouring. Um, this one for like just putting your base on, but this is quite a basic one, a lot of people have one. This one, number one, most useful one in the world, definitely Babes Award 5000. Um, and then yeah, if you are gonna get like a couple of other ones, actually, oh shit, and the other really necessary one, lip one, because lips are fucking important. Um, and yeah, if you're doing a colour, say red, I'll do another video about this, but you had orange, you had purple. Basically, when I have red lips, I've actually got five different colours on my lips, but it makes them look extra like amazing so yeah basically these are my top five if you buy those mac sets you can probably get most of them so that like, lip brush eye blender like what's this called oh yeah shadow base uh contouring one and a uh, buffer foundation one definitely babes awards 5000 yeah amazing okay cool sorry this video is a bit longer but lots of brushes to talk about um yeah and i hope you appreciate this and su subscribe and i'll see you very soon okay cool bye